Hello everyone and welcome back to Stay Tonight. In the season two of React JS, up until now I've covered five videos in which I've talked about private and protected routes, basic authentication using app right, and then a couple of cool design patterns like render prop pattern, custom hooks, high order components. And in this video, I will be covering a simple cart design so that if you're a beginner who's trying to create an e-commerce website, you get an understanding. Okay, this is how you should design a basic cart. Obviously, this will be a very simple design in the upcoming videos i will definitely try to enhance and improve this particular design but yes this is the way in which you can set up a basic simple cart in your next e-commerce project so if you have not watched the videos that i have created in the season 2 please i would advise you to go back and watch these videos because the code that i will be using in this particular project is entirely based on what i had in the private and protected routes video so the basic project is already set if you can see on the screen so let me just start by showing you the user interface how it looks so this is the how the user interface looks like home is there which is a basic you know introduction or a welcome page for my e-commerce website on the root url then if you click on this computer desk or gadgets or t-shirts you get to the products component with category set as computer or desk or gadgets or t-shirt and based on whatever category you are trying to access in products you see the data this data is coming from a basic aws serverless lambda function which i have integrated with aws api gateway to serve this particular api so that i get some basic reference data i have created one video where i have talked about how you can create your own aws lambda serverless function and host it as an api using api gateway you should definitely check that video out so moving on to what else is there basic filtering is set but we are not doing anything about this it's just you know uh, a video that i created about how you can have multiple params in the url so i talked about this in that particular video you should check that video out as well in this video what we will do is we'll add a add to cart button over here in front of all the products and when the user clicks on this add to cart button we will have a cart in which the product will be added and we will create a simple cart component where we will show the products that are added in the cart so this is the objective of this particular video i also want to create this particular cart design so that you know in the upcoming videos we can take this forward maybe add a checkout add a login authentication system and complete this small e-commerce project so that you guys are able to understand okay this is how basic project in the agrees can be created and it will be very good for beginners to try it out okay so now let's see the code In the code what we have is in the app.js we have used the router provider to include the router mechanism of the application in the router.js we have defined the entire routing we are using react router dom version 6 in which we have used the create browser router to define the routing of the application so on the slash path on the home path we get the root which is sort of you know displaying the layout or the template of the entire e-commerce application then comes the home component nothing big in the home component then comes the products component in which we are firing the api call getting the products filtering them on the basis of category and filter it's just you know for the sake of having it we are not doing anything with this filter parameter then we have this path star for handling the 404 errors now in this particular case we will also add a cart section to this like i said so let's see these components one by one in the home.js there's nothing much a basic ui for a home page in the products i have a product data state variable i think this is also something that we talked about in the previous video so you should definitely check out the private and protected routes video the entire code structure is explained very well there as well use params is required use navigate is required for navigating when the filter selection is done so that's something that is there and in the use effect i'm firing a fetch call like i mentioned setting the data into the product data inside the user interface or inside the jsx what we are doing is we are iterating over the product data and we are matching the data with the category so there is no default product user interface everything is based on the category selected in the product page so based on the category selected we are just filtering off the entire data that we are getting from the product data api and we are just displaying the data which is related to that particular category to showcase the product information we have created a product card component in which we are doing nothing but you know just transmitting the prop from products to product card and displaying them in a basic division div div format that's it so over here in the product card the first thing that we will do is we will create a button add to cart then in the root.js what we will define is we will create a state for cart over here we will supply the state using the outlet context to all our child components and in the product card when the button add to cart is clicked 
what we will do is we'll update that card that's the overall thing that we're going to do yeah it's not that big or it's not that difficult you just have to break it down into smaller pieces right so let's quickly do this so the first thing that i will do is this is how the user interface is looking so we want the button over here i think we have a flex apart class that i will be using okay so it's already used uh, what i can do is i can have a division over here inside this we can have a button add to cart let's give it class name btn and purple all right so we got this add to cart add to cart button in front of all the products cool the next thing that i want to do is initialize my cart so for that where i will go is i'll go to the root dot js component because this is the main layout or main template component inside which everything is created or you know showcased so what i'll do over here is i'll create a cart state and initialize it with an empty array so this will be an array of objects object will be product information inside of this cart in the outlet context i will send the cart and set cart setter function so that each of the component especially the product card gets access to this so that we can update the cart from the product card component okay so in the product card what i will do is i will get hold of my context and from this context let's just simply try to log the cart and see if you're getting an empty array or not yep so we're getting empty array getting it two times because i have printed this inside product card and two product cards are getting loaded over here so that's why we are seeing it twice no worries with that okay so let's remove this this is sort of working so now let's add a event handler on click event handler to this add to cart button on click we will do add to cart so each time in the product card in the props i'm getting the value of the product from here we are getting this so what i will do is i will simply use the context dot set cart method and supply it the current value available in the cart array and add my props dot product to it right i think it makes sense does it make sense yeah so let's see anyways let's see if our cart is getting updated properly or not by logging it refresh anyways it's already refreshed add to cart not seeing anything because immediately we don't see how the carts get updated or how the state variable gets updated but now as you can see i can see the value over here mouse was initially added if i go to something else it will be two yeah so the cart is getting updated okay that's cool so one thing is done i think the basic setup for updating the cart is already done i hope you get the idea of what we have done now the next step would be to have some basic user interface let's say we have a cart button over here where we see cart getting updated one two three as the products are getting updated in the cart so let's quickly do that okay so what i will do is in the root.js over here in the navigation i have a span for my logo so this is my logo over here what i will do is i will have a okay so i've got cart over here and uh, eventually i will have to make it a link because i want the user to be able to click on this cart and move to the cart component so let's just do that right away okay okay it is looking like this so what we can do is so the path to which this link will be created is slash cart this is looking purple now all right so let's just change the css slightly i don't want it to look like this i should have some css for nav anchor Yep, I have it over here. The background color is this. Okay, so let's make it. Uh, let's keep this as white, and let's have a border color instead. Yep, now it looks fine. And the information that we want to display that is the number of products added into the cart that we will do by. showcasing the cart dot length so we're getting zero over here let's just wrap it up into some cool color you can have by default nothing over here you can have a basic check i'm just displaying zero you can also have you know if it's greater than zero then only show it otherwise don't show it so it's it's you know a matter of choice how you want to display this 
class name let's say pink if okay this is how it's looking not good so let's just add a simple css um what i can do is the same one that i'm using for btn let's have it for a badge that i can create and over here i can have simple two pixels six pixels and yep okay so in the root let's just remove this router and home we don't need this uh yeah pressed everything is fine so over here what i will do is i'll have a badge class along with it and yeah now it's looking fine so if i click on add to cart you're seeing one is getting added two is getting added wow so it's working three is getting added four is getting added but one thing to notice over here is that we are still seeing the add to cart button ideally what i want to do is when a product is added to the cart it should show something like added or something else right this button should be disabled or should not be visible anymore right so let's do that quickly so inside the product card what i will do is once the product is added or available in the cart i don't want to show this button okay so what i will do is i will apply the find method and i will look for if p dot name is equal to equal to the props dot product dot name that means the product is already added so i'll say added and otherwise we will have this okay so yeah i think it looks fine so we are using props dot cart dot find so this card okay sorry not props dot card but context dot card so the card that is available in the context inside that we will find whether the product that i am displaying right now is already available if it's available we'll show added otherwise we'll show the add to cart button i think this should work add to cart yeah we are seeing added perfect add to cart added add to cart added if i go back to computer okay we are not seeing it okay so in the desk section i added so this is still added over here gadgets still added over here so this is working perfectly fine so i think 70 80 or i say 90% of the work is done what else we want to do over here is create a cart component where we showcase what products have been added and maybe you know show the total value of the cart to you know sort of complete the basic simple implementation of a cart system yes we will not go into checkout and login etc or creating an order in this particular video but if you want me to cover that please comment down below that please cover checkout and login and order creation and i will definitely do that and we will create this particular into a small good mobile friendly ecom website so now let's quickly create a cart component right okay so in the pages section i will create a new file name it cart.js rafce create a basic component and what we will have inside of this obviously via context we will receive the value of cart over here so we don't have to worry about props etc so in the cart let's create a basic user interface like div class name products cart because i already have css defined for that so let's just use that only inside here what we will do is we will have so if i go to this okay 404 nothing here okay we have to add a route first so let's just quickly go to router and add a route for our cart as well it will be slash cart and over here it will be cart let's import all righty so yeah now we get our cart it's a basic ui just like the products uh, page but uh, we will show the products that are added in the cart so what i will do is iterate over the products that we get from the context so what we will do is we will access the context over here as well using the use outlet context and in the context what we will get is we will get the access of the cart array so what i'll do is i'll say context dot cart dot map we will use the map high order function to iterate over this particular array object and in this we will get access to the value which will be products and let's create the user interface so i don't want to use the product card over and over again because then i will have to handle or manage the add to cart button which will be a lot of conditions so let's just simply create the user interface here only so that what i have in the product card or in products uh using this right we can have this over here perfect div all righty and inside this what i can have is i can have a div why it's not getting auto completed anyways so over here we will show val dot name 
and over here what we will show is we will show val dot price okay so let's see if this works i go to computer add to cart one if i go over here i'm not seeing anything why so let's quickly try to log this in the context i think there is something that i'm missing but i don't see what i'm missing context dot cart idle it should have okay so we're getting data over here but what have i done wrong in my map oops i have not returned it i always forget it and now it should be good to go yeah so we're getting this information over here perfect let's style it a little differently let's just you know utilize the space that we have quickly flex apart and i will have both this information inside of this and all right so yeah this looks fine now let's see if i go to desk add to cart over here show piece one is getting added still showing added over here desk showing added if i go to cart i see the two products that i have added so this is working perfectly fine now let's quickly have some checks like you know for example if there is nothing in my cart i should see no product added or something like so I, I should not see blank user interface that doesn't look nice so that is one thing and the second thing would be i should see the total value of the cart of the products added right obviously you can add more features to this like delete product from the cart or increase the number of quantity of products so those things can be added as more features to this if you want that as well so let me know in the comment section again if you want that i will do it for you okay so let's quickly correct the code and end the video so what i can do over here is i can have like a check if this length is greater than zero then only i do this otherwise i show cart is empty make sense cart is empty let's just center this one up okay cart is empty and if i add anything to my cart like digital clock or a mouse i see two products added okay this is also working fine now i need something over here to hold the total value of the cart so how i will do that there are multiple ways to do it you can either run a reduce high order function and find the total sum of all the prices or in this map function only if i keep a total cart value uh, variable over here supply it over here add keep on adding price to it then also i will have that value right so let's do that ways only if i create a variable like you know cart value initialize it with zero and in user interface we want to show it somewhere after this so here again we can have such a check because i don't want to show zero cart value that doesn't look nice right so if the cart length is greater than zero then only i show this otherwise i don't show it at all right make sense and what i want to show is uh let's pick this product info we'll have a white background total cart value rupees and this cart value what we will do is in this map we will do cart value is equal to cart value plus val dot price okay sorry so let's go to computer add a mouse in gadgets a wireless charger i need in a t-shirt i need a blue t-shirt so i have three products added and we are seeing 1250 1000 1000 and we are seeing total cart value as 2250 so that's how you can set up a basic cart system in e-commerce right it sounds like oh i have to create an e-commerce cart system it would be very difficult but that's a basic simple implementation of it this should give a basic idea of how the skeleton of the cart system works right obviously it can be implemented in so many different ways and different better ways as well but this is a good way in which we have used react router 6 so if you are creating an e-commerce project from scratch this is how you can approach creating a cart system a basic cart system obviously there are so many things that can be added to this particular system but yes we will end this video over here with this basic cart implementation i hope you guys like this video i will be adding more videos in the season 2 of react js there is lazy loading there's a login authentication system use reducer hook is still pending there are so many other react js based hooks and then there are so many other advanced react js concepts that i have planned to create in this season 2 
thank you so much for watching the videos if you have not yet followed me on instagram follow me on instagram at the rate abhi tonight is my instagram handle i publish hindi short reels for react js over there as well if you have not subscribed to this right right with abhishek youtube channel please do it press the bell icon share this with your friends post a comment and thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next one